Okay, so at this point, you should have turned in your Google Slideshow with your travel brochure content and images that you're going to be using for your InDesign document you're making today. We started yesterday uh, with the InDesign, so if you haven't turned in the Slideshow, make sure you do that as soon as possible. So I have created a Slideshow in Google Slides to use it as an example. And the first thing we're going to need to do is save our pictures that we found on the on the um, on our place that we selected. We need to save them on our drive. So if you have um, cited your pictures correctly, it shouldn't be a big deal to save them. If not, then you're going to, need to go on a, a, another search and find the images again and make sure you cite them. So the first one, I'm going to click on here. I'm going to save it so I can use it for my slide for my uh, travel brochure right click save image as and then you're gonna make sure you're saving it in your on your drive so I will go ahead and save this as Sevilla I've already saved it as one of these so I'm gonna go ahead and X out so this has been saved I've gone through and saved my images and at this point we're gonna open up InDesign to do that you're gonna click the start menu you can start typing or searching for it within Adobe InDesign. InDesign is cool because it's used mostly for print print materials. So if you're doing a, a brochure like we're doing, if you're creating a portfolio that you might need when you get a little bit older, or if you decide to join the, the newspaper in high school or college, many times you're going to be using InDesign to create the print paper that's going to be, uh, it's, it's really good for print. Is, is what I'm saying here. So we're just waiting for InDesign to open. <clears throat> and again, we're making a tri-fold brochure. So if it's folded into three, it's, it's not going to be exactly the way you would think it. So if you need a, a, a visual, I have an example at my desk. So you can ask me for that if you're interested. So once we open it up, we are going to create a new document. Gonna wait a little bit. <clears throat> it might take a little bit of time <clears throat> the first time you open it. So go ahead and click New Document. This is open. It's going a little bit slowly. And then once you get there, you're going to make it two pages because it's going to be front and back of the brochure. You want the orientation to be landscape. So go ahead and click that. Leave everything the same except for columns. These will be just to guide us when we're placing our information on the brochure. So three columns, OK. We should open it up. And if you do control minus sign, you can scroll out so you can see there's a front and a back. So scroll back in, control plus sign. And we are going to put, we're going to work on the first one first. And our front of our brochure is going to be on the right side. So to add text, it's very similar to the other Adobe products. It has a nice uh, tool bar, toolbar on the side. We're going to do the type tool for our text. You click and drag to make the text box. And I'm going to type my place. Once you've typed a little or pasted some of your text that you're going to be using, you're going to go ahead and highlight it. Up at the top, you can change the text. You can change the, the point size here. You can change the font as well over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a nice heading font. It might be too big. If that's the issue, just kind of. So there we go. And then if you want to center it over here, there's some options as far as alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and center it. <clears throat> So, and then if I want to place an image, I'm going to go ahead and click on the selection tool, click off, so I'm not ha so I don't have to select it or it'll go into that box. To place our image, we're going to go File, Place. Go ahead and see what we want to pick, so you can kind of see an image, a thumbnail image at the bottom, which is pretty nice. If you don't see that, go ahead and click Preview. I'm going to go ahead and select this one because it's a nice portrait size image that I think would be pretty for my front. So I'm going to click open. And one way you can do it is click and drag, and that way it keeps its per, its uh, dimensions. And that's a really easy way of doing it. 
or if you happen to just click in it and it's a very giant picture, let me go ahead and do that. You've done, um, delete it, file, play. So I'm going to go ahead and select the same picture. And if you accidentally just click it, you might have a, a giant image and that's not what we want. It's way too big. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it, transform, scale. And once you make sure preview is selected and then click on the percentage and use your down or up arrow to make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to make it fit within our nice guides here. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to scroll this up. I'm using the arrow tool to, to do that or not the arrow tool, just the, the actual arrow. I'm clicking with the selection tool and then I'm using the arrows on my keyboard to, to move it around. And that's really easy. I'm adding another text box here. It's the tour bath. Incorrectly. And change that font point as well. Center it. And one thing you might want to do just to make it a little bit more colorful, I'm going to go ahead and create a box for a background color. So I've collected, I've clicked the rectangle tool. I'm going to go ahead and make a big box that's the same size as this, and as, as our sheet of paper. I'm going to click the background color. I'm going to make it, I would like to make it maybe orange or something. I'll go ahead and start it with blue. So as you see here, it's kind of, um, it's opaque and it's covering it up. So the same thing we would do for is, as we do in Illustrator, I'm going to go into layers and find that rectangle and move it to the back. So if it's at the bottom, it'll be in the back. And at that point, if I wanted to change the color of my text, I could highlight it and then make sure my text, maybe make it white. So it's up to you. It's your option. It's uh, up to you. So then this section is going to be your work cited. Type tool. This section, we're going to make it be must see sites. I was going to make these, which we're going to start today. This one is going to be our um, population. Location. Ooh, I can type. I'm going to go ahead and make this also the... Uh, weather or climate and best time to travel. So you can kind of just make these fit, add images as well. This middle one is going to be the, that's going to be festivals and holidays. And then we are going to put finally over on this side, we're going to put the, uh, interesting foods. And make it as um, creative or colorful as you'd like. You're going to need to add uh, your text from your slides. You're going to need to add some images. And then also make sure if you use a different image that's not on your slides, make sure you're putting it in the works cited, which will be on this side. So if you have any questions, let me know.